John So Min is an actress. However, she is mostly known for being a member of the Running Men. Sadly, recently news came out that she is leaving Running Man and many speculated it's due to hate comments and she needs to recharge. So let's get into her story and what led to her decision to leave Running Man. John So Min was born on April 7, 1986 in Goyang, South Korea. She was brought up with her younger brother John Wook Min in her native town. She was very close to her brother and was instrumental in introducing him to show business as a guest artist. Before John's official debut in the acting industry, she had been working as a fashion magazine model in her second year of high school. She wanted to be an actress from a young age, for which she did her degree in broadcasting and entertainment from Dongduk Women's University. She was a bright student and took an active part in university shows, from where she got a foothold into the entertainment industry. But as we all know, the beginning of an acting career is very difficult and you cannot survive on that money and have to get part-time jobs. She talked in one interview about that time. At first, I worked part-time at a wedding hall, but it was inevitable that I'd be captured in photos or videos. I thought I might feel embarrassed if footage like that ended up spread around when I became an actress later on. So I quit that and found one-day jobs like passing out flyers, since I had to take time off work if I had an audition or filming. Then I ended up working at a cafe. It was hard for her to land roles and she started longing for acting. I felt anxious and thought that I should give up, she shared that she became tired after constantly wondering if she was taking the right path if she maybe didn't have the gift for it, and whether she should keep trying. However, it wasn't a bad time. Since I had a steady income in any case, and I was able to experience another job that wasn't acting. I think I became more diligent and gained stamina during that time. In 2004, she made her debut in the sitcom Miracle which was aired on NBC, while she was still in college. Throughout the years, she did many small roles. Some of her bigger roles helped her to build a bigger fandom, which as well helped her to get more work. Her major break came when she played a lead role in the serial Princess Aurora in 2013, for which she won the Best New Actress Award at the NBC Drama Awards that year. After her stunning performance she was given the recurring role of Han Sungri in the serial Tomorrow Victory that was screened from 2015 to 2016, 2017 has been a busy year for John So Min with her appearances in the serials My Secret Romance, The Bride of Havoc and Single Wife. She has proved herself a versatile actress with her varied roles. Having established herself in South Korean show business, she has made several guest appearances in a number of variety shows from 2014 onwards. These include Running Man, Happy Together Season 3 and Witch Hunt in 2014 followed by Radio Star, Gourmet Road Season 1 and Live Talk Show Taxi in 2015. With her appearances on these reality shows, she also became more active on social media in order to build her own image. In April 2017, John joined Running Man as a regular cast member and it changed her life. She said, I was in a dark period before appearing on Running Man. I worked hard on the program and was able to show a variety of images. It was a breakthrough in terms of limitations of images. There were not many people who trusted me and gave me something to do. Her cheerful and quirky personality certainly did gain her a number of followers, with her addition to the cast helping the program achieve higher ratings and more positive reviews compared to before her appearance. While doing Running Man she didn't give up on acting, she did dramas like Cross and Cleaning Up, and movies like My Name and 2037. However, her acting career is mostly cameo roles, which is so saddening. And in 2018 she shared a heartbreaking truth about the entertainment industry. John So Min spoke in support of the hashtag MeToo movement after veteran actor and cross colleague Joe Jaehyun's sexual harassment allegation. She said Joe Jaehyun's departure wasn't made a big deal out of, and the cast just continued working hard until the end. Her strong stance on the hashtag MeToo movement was due to a series of small harassment that she herself had to endure over the years. 
but mostly because many of her friends in the industry faced it as well. She hopes her juniors won't have to suffer any of the injustices that she and her colleagues had to endure. She said, We have to talk about it privately because it is too big an issue. Most of them have small scars going back years. I have a lot of stories about things like this that shouldn't have ever happened. These kinds of things hurt a lot of people. I have many friends at work that talk about it. Kudos for her speaking about this issue as we know many Korean actors are silent on this issue. Hardship doesn't end here. In 2020, So Min worried her fans once she shared how lonely she was in an Instagram post. The truth is, I'm really sad right now. I'm sure people aren't really interested, but when someone sees my blank face and asks if something's wrong, that might be me being loved. But the fact that no matter how hard I look through my contact list on my phone, there isn't a single person who can run over to me when I need them means I'm not loved. Since when was I so alone? And in 2020, people started to notice that So Min was being bullied and people wanted her out of Running Man. The situation got so bad that Running Man production team had to close down the comment section. Producers said, We have decided to close the comment section due to insults, excessive criticism and impersonation of show members. We hope that our viewers understand. Although no specific name was mentioned, John has been the subject of offending comments. At that time, she was not feeling well, so she took a break from work. Then John's younger brother uploaded a post on Instagram about malicious comments the family was receiving, such as John Soman get out of Running Man or have your daughter, John, leave Running Man or your family will be cursed. Soman came back to the show on May 24th after a two-month break, but she continued to receive insults, while someone may have been impersonating her online. After she came back to the show, she uploaded a post on Instagram claiming that someone had impersonated her in the comments section and clarifying that it wasn't her. The stream of insults and malicious comments continued until producers closed the board. It is suspected that fans of the show both local and overseas were not satisfied with comedian Young Se-chan and John. In 2022, the same issue was raised by news reports about how much So Min is being bullied on the internet. So Min posted an innocent post of her playing around with Haha -ha while recording for Running Man, however, her comment section was filled with hate comments. She for some reason, pinned one hate comment. That person who wrote the comment doubled down after seeing his comment was pinned, trolling the actress further. Korean netizens came to defense. They are still doing this dollar hit. So Min Yuni has been a regular for years and has performed well, even when she was a guest. Why are they doing this? I think they are doing that because they are jealous. Stop bothering her, you psycho. So Min is a bundle of joy. Why are foreign fans still doing that? It's been years. Sigh. Foreign fans don't like John So Min? Why? And in 2023, it was announced that So Min would be leaving Running Man. John So Min will be filming her last episode on October 30th KST before departing Running Man. Considering that it was not a short relationship with the program, John So Min, thought hard about it and after a long discussion with the members of Running Man, the production team, and the agency, she ultimately decided that she needed some time to recharge in order to show a better side of herself. We thank all those who cried and laughed with John So Min on Running Man since April 2017 for six years, and we ask for your warm affection and support for John So Min moving forward. Sadly, the haters got what they wanted. But many and myself are sad to see her go. Korean netizens commented. No, I was watching Running Man to see So Min. I guess I don't need to watch the broadcast anymore, no, she was my favorite member, So Min made Running Man so fun, many international viewers commented that it is the end of Running Man. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make my interest in the show plummet. I actually cannot believe this, I don't know if Running Man will survive for much longer without So Min.
But also there were people who were glad that she left, because of how much she had to suffer just by being a member of Running Man. I actually feel kinda relieved. LOL she deserves better than the way RM and members treat her. They have never addressed the toxicity that she's been getting, not even once. The amount of hate she gets for doing her job is really sad. I hope the departure of Running Man can reduce the hate she gets every day. I am also hoping for more seasonal variety show appearance from her like LKS right now. And many do believe that she left because of how much hate she got. There is many articles pointing this out. I would not be surprised as there is a limit to how much a person can handle. She was so passionate about Running Man and so happy to be a part of it. But those jelly people ruined everything for her. I really hope she can be happy now and free from harsh words. What do you think about this? Leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.